Well, I guess this is it. Another day, another chapter in our lives, packing up our belongings into boxes and leaving behind a place that has become somewhat familiar to us. But this time, it's a bit different. This time, it's not a sad moment because we're finally moving into our first apartment in Canada. But let's backtrack a bit. Sometime in May, I said goodbye to my husband who was going ahead of me to Canada to sort of prepare the way and make landing softer for me. The plan was simple. He goes, gets a place, I come, and we live happily ever after. Easy, right? Well, wrong. Here's what happened instead. My head, uh, the logic made sense. Come three to four weeks earlier, search for a house, find a house, um, and then Cassie comes a month later and we move in. There's my plan, and there was God's plan, <laughs> or will I say reality. Um, probably checked out maybe nothing less than maybe 12 houses. Um, it was between too small, too far, didn't have the right amenities, and then we found the ones we liked, and they said, oh, someone else already took it, or someone else got approved for it or you don't have the right credit history, so we're not going forward with your application. I remember the place we got to that, when you stand in the kitchen, literally, once I do like this, um, I'm touching both ends. And I was asking the lady, like, ah, why, why are we here? She said, oh, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't cook so much, don't worry, it don't matter. That's me, and I'm like, you are, you're obviously playing here. You are joking. After you find the house, it looks great, you like it, you then have to put in an application, get a credit check done, and then you either get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I mean, we found the first place, it was nice, we liked it. And then they were like, yeah, you don't have credit history, so you cannot take the house. I'm like, ah, but I have money. See, I have money in my account. They said, nope, you don't have good credit history. And obviously coming in as a new immigrant, we did not have any credit history. So it then got to the point where I wouldn't then have to talk to some family members and say, look, I need you to stand as a guarantor for me. And it's not like a guarantor in Nigeria where, um, it's like, okay, we just want to bring somebody. This one, the person that you are, that you are bringing has had have a good enough credit history such that they you then get approved based on their own credit history and not your own. Not only did it take me two months plus to get the house, we also had to stay in an Airbnb for a whole month. One month turned into two months. So we got an Airbnb, which was great. Yeah, it was actually yeah. a nice one. Shout out to you, Aesthetics Brian. was given. But it was a home, so yeah. Yeah. We were counting down to getting our own place. So we, we actually finally got approved for a place, but then we had to wait for like another month. After literally we, we paid first, so you paid first month last month. We paid it in July beginning and they were now looking at them for one full month. You know how I said in my last video I was like I practice patience so much. This was one of the things because Literally every day I was like, oh my god, when is it August 1st yet? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. I didn't die, so yeah. It was like a scene from Are We There Yet if we watch that movie. But yeah, I mean we didn't waste the one month. We 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 just kept buying things yeah. and filling up someone else's houses with a lot of stuff. Literally um, all the space in his house was gone. Yeah, I feel like if he came at any point in time, he would have like, yeah, pack a load and be going because he probably was surprised that like the neighbors didn't report us or something because every day we would be carrying big things into the <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was actually insane. Like, we carried the center table, we carried the bed con frame. console, bed frame. Finally, we picked up our keys and yeah, we're going to be showing you guys our empty house store and we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, much love. So today is July 31st and it's about 7.30 p.m. right now. We're actually supposed to move in on August 1st, but uh, apparently things worked out and they were like oh you can come and get your key today and so we went to get our key and somehow somehow we actually moved in um, our mattress and our bed and set it all up
and now we're back to this house to eat and go back again yo i honestly was was planning like a proper video but i don't know i have my period so i'm very low energy it may be a bit it, it may be a bit haphazard and chaotic but you still get the gist <laughs> but the gist is that we're excited to be moving into our own space basically and yeah i'll do my best to show you guys um all the moving parts and yeah Okay, so I'm taking this. I think it's good now together. Hmm? And you found the thing you need, I mean, the thing for the shop. Okay, so I bring this. Let me see. I guess I'll carry one more thing. Yeah, your tripod. My tripod, yeah. Maybe you can come a second time. Can you do that? So carry which one now? Oh yeah, that's the rug. Okay, so we'll both come up a second time. Yeah. Okay. And that is what today. So just go there, do two trips. Yeah. Okay. Cool. These are the ones that we have decided we'll go first. So we have the mirror, the shelves, the ladder shelf, <laughs> and the nightstands. Yeah. My tripod, of course. The time is now 8.30 and we are making our second round for the day against tomorrow. Oh, I feel like I look a mess. God, babe. No, you don't. You look so beautiful. Anyway, so we're making our second round, set up a couple of things ahead of tomorrow so that we kind of lighten our load for tomorrow. Um, yeah. So we just got to the building. These are some of the things that we've carried. Mark has gone to park the car. I'm just going to... Oh, that was fast. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to come that fast. <laughs> oh my God. something makes no sense okay let's do a bit of empty apartment tour uh this is what it looks like when you walk in have the kitchen and the sitting room and a balcony what i really like about this place is that there's so much storage it's like a lot of storage and that just excites me because somehow they don't build houses here with storage in mind and we have this little storage um, cupboard right here when you walk in there's a bathroom I was really particular about a standing shower because most of the houses here have bathtubs and I don't know I'm not a fan also a lot of storage really exciting um, there's also some storage here as well. It's a small one, but yeah, Sparks Joy. <laughs> I like that the walls are like. I wish you were white, but would work with this. So this is the this is the living room. It's not a big space, but it honestly just works for us right now. Um, so this is where the TV goes it's a really <laughs> small <laughs> but yeah it's a one bedroom so we have just this one bedroom right here so we set this up earlier today you know I mentioned that, that we, we set it up and then we went to get food it's a small bedroom as well um, this is what the bedroom looks like we have a window at the corner and yeah, pretty much. Here we have another storage. This is the closet. Um, let me put on the lights. I don't know if this is the lights. Or... So 
this is another storage okay, which is right here i don't know why i'm whispering this is the closet i keep calling it stor storage but this is the closet and i was asking i was telling mark i'm like why didn't they put shelves here like literally whose clothes is going to hang from here to the end like why aren't there shelves here so that's probably something that we are going to have to do ourselves push shelves here so there's this as well so we definitely need to figure out how we're going to <laughs> share this space because it's not as big as it's not that big and here we have the laundry area yeah it's just a little just a small box with the dryer and the washer yeah that's pretty much it so i'm waiting for mark right now um to come up and we would set we we'll set up those side tables um we're not 100 percent sure this is how the bed is going to face i don't know where we're going to put our mirror that's something else so if we put the bed this way then we can put the mirror here i don't know and here is mark how do you feel babe i feel good i feel good you know you let stuff outside i know <laughs> You didn't answer my question. I said I feel good. I know, but like... I feel good, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to setting <laughs> up the house. It's like I just bullied you into doing this. Looks nice. So like you're stressed, yeah? A little? Yeah. Alright babe, thanks. <laughs> Lies on this side, like you said. So I guess it's gonna be right... Right here, right here. So the rug, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. uh, we thought it was going to be bigger than this, but I pass. But I feel like it's, we can. I feel like we can work with babe. Let's not put table on this table. It's going to remain. The table cannot be this big now. But we'll see, Sha. Don't worry. You see, it doesn't work. It's not even. It's too flat for the floor. See. Yeah, it's, it's not fluffy flat. on yeah. the floor. <laughs> nah, this cannot work here. Don't worry. Let's not knock it first. I mean, so I have to buy another I room. The head. You've knocked it already. Go back to Rashada. So what we can do instead is we can put this on both sides. Mm mm. How kind of get to arrangements is that put rug on two different sides? Or or put it under the bed. As in, you get hmm. put two of them under the bed side by side so that it looks like the bed, the rug is round. Okay. It's all about in here like this now. Mm. I work with that. It's an interesting one. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I should because my stomach is actually hurting. All right. Bobet the builder. Hmm, you just say Bobet. Mm -hmm. The heck? I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I knew that screen would be my post. <laughs> screen. <laughs> screen, screen has screen has screen used to be your problem. Yeah, it's not there. Babe, what are you saying? Be a school I say tomorrow. No babe, stop. Hmm? Screen the thing mm. with the knot. Oh mm -hmm. god, I'm making it worse. <laughs> Oh my dear, that's not your problem at all. I can vouch for you. My love, this thing is not. Or maybe I'm not being patient. You must be patient. That's not my greatest strength. Ha <laughs> ha. It is. Yes. How is my greatest strength? You've been able to nurture it. I've been able to nurture it. Mm -hmm. You think? I don't show you shaking. I guess. <laughs> I don't you believe. That's not Whether you like or not. I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're saying you're saying it so proudly. I didn't say it. Is that was that part of your vows? Those cracking jokes. Was that part of your vows? No. Do you remember your vows? I don't know if you play with you. Do you remember your vows, babe? I remember my vows. Tell me. I'm not telling you. One goes here. The other goes to the other side of the bed. Oh, it actually really goes with the bed frame. Yep. You know why it's funny? Because we didn't buy them together. Yep. Once you enter the house, it's this little space here. 
and we want to put like a little shelf and a mirror and of course we have the what's this thing called babe um, the shoe thingy sha shurak. so yeah shurak i really like this mirror so we got this mirror from facebook marketplace it has been so instrumental in buying stuff for the house because literally a lot of the things that we have we got from facebook marketplace and also um what's that thrift store called again goodwill goodwill as well so yeah it's actually from ikea and guess what it has been discontinued so you really can't buy this anymore it was, it was a good find i like that there's a bit of red it's a tire i also like that there's a bit of red because it adds some color pop of color to it okay my love tomorrow we'll do center table and then tv stand these are days that we need to do set up now mm. So it's day two of packing and moving. This is actually the first day because this was the day that we were supposed to pack our stuff. Yesterday was like, I don't know, we were just <laughs> too excited, I guess. Um, we actually stayed over there till like 11 p.m. last night and then we came home. Right now it's about 8 a.m. and we're back on the grind, moving things, packing things. We have some of his friends coming over later in the evening to help and assist. I'm actually pretty excited to watch everything just take shape. Um, Get out of this space. This place has been, it's not, nah, it has, it has been a blessing. The location was really a prime location. Downtown is just like five minutes drive away. The house decor in itself was giving, was giving aesthetics. You guys know, you've been watching my videos. Uh, and yeah, but it's time for our own home. Um, another new beginning. <laughs> I feel like I said that with a very strong male voice. Another new beginning. <laughs> and yeah. It's been a good run, but yeah, now we need to run. So we are at the new house, just piling things. I find it pretty neat that they have something called a moving room with like an elevator dedicated to people that are moving. Makes so much sense. Thank you, babe. Right, so this is this is like a quarter of our stuff. We still have a few things at the other house, but like really few things. I'm just so glad. Coming here yesterday was really helpful because I mean our room is almost set up. And yeah. So we'll go back later in the day and get the rest of the things. I don't think I'll join them. My husband and his friend will do that, but yeah. So now we have to start sorting out all of this. Ah, moving is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Okay, I think I'll start with the room actually. I think I'll start with the room. So this is what the room looks like right now. Um, we are not 100% certain of where we're gonna keep the mirror and the ladder. So in case we were probably turning the whole bed around and faces over here. We're not sure as well. And then we have this rug that we got 
flimsy. This frog is so flimsy. So what am I even going to do now? Um, yeah, so painting would go up there or here, depending on wherever we decide to face the bed. Yeah, look at our really cute side table. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I think that what we should do is uh, put the respective things in their respective places. Okay. For example, now this is for the sitting room. Just put it against okay. you get. Okay. That way we are clear to see what goes in the kitchen. Yeah, I want one. Just run out. This sitting room too. This basket is both functional and for aesthetics. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Because that's how we do things here, right? Yeah, it has we, to be functional. We make things functional while giving the best vibes. Who's <laughs> that even be my guy? Be your guy. Who be your guy? Who be your guy? Who be your guy? Who be your guy? Maybe we guy? welcome Google to our new home. Who is Google? Google. Oh, Google. Ah, there's no Wi-Fi. Then we have our painting. This is also going to sit room. This painting. When? In a few years' time, I can tell you for free that this painting is going to be worth millions of dollars. You don't see. Tell me, just take notes. I'll process it. You don't say. Definitely not by me. No, oh, that's the song now. Oh, okay. Yeah, any small thing, any small thing, like, bam. Attack. I just need us to be on the same page. This mat is not so bad, though, guy. It's just like it's so flat. We didn't have like some body now, you know. And that's what I'm talking about now. It's too flat. That's my complaint. Yeah. So the room things are kind of shaping up nicely. We've moved all the things for the room in here. I'm still a bit disorganized because our priority was just, you know, sorting things. Everything that's for the room, just put it inside the room and then you can sort it later on. And so this is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to do a quick run through of some of the things. Um, we got these pillows from Walmart. <laughs> it's supposed to be four pillows. I don't know where the fourth one is. Um, okay, this is a comforter. So I think this was from Walmart as well. Walmart, a couple of books from the thrift store. Um, it's actually Goodwills. We got this from Goodwills. This is my blog planner. <laughs> now, let me just show you guys this one. This is my blog planner. Um, I also got this from Goodwills, one of the books that came with me. This is actually, I planned to read this on the plane during my flight, but I did not. <laughs> Walmart, Amazon, this is a duvet set, I think. My husband didn't want us to open this thing. He was like, don't open it. It's just going to blow up. I won't be able to pack it. I mean, it makes sense, Shell, but... Oh. Oh. Mm, interesting. So do this set. More comforters. Uh, more bed sheets. Uh, bed sheets. We have bed sheets. Are all bed sheets. Pillow cases. Oh yeah, that's the pillow. Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to figure out how to do the styling for the bedside tables. <laughs> I haven't hacked it yet, but yeah, this is what the room looks like for now. Sitting room on the other hand. <laughs> We haven't really gotten anywhere. Mark is trying to put together the TV console. I don't know if he has actually even made progress. <laughs> you have? Oh, good. Um, so we just have um, the sitting room items just laying around here. No couch yet. And the kitchen area as well. We haven't really put things together. We went and got a bunch of hand towels and Microfiber cleaning clothes and this pack joy. I really like this color. And then this color as well. The yellow right here. I got these flowers and the vase from Goodwills as well. I really like it. I feel like it's a pop of color in this place, babe. What do you think? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a really good pop of color here. We have these frames, they go over there. We don't have the picture ledge yet. Uh, so yeah, we just really have things laying around. Oh, I really, this is another thing that sparks joy. 
I'm not sure what it is, but when I said, I was like, oh, you can use this to serve um, like light bites when we have guests over. So I got it at Goodwill as well. Sparks Joy. And we have a bunch of tumblers, glasses, mugs. This is a, an organizer for the cabinet. Yeah. I was doing this and I went to fix it so low. So it's for hanging the, what's it called? Sponge. So I wanted it to be kind of like this, but I messed up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Plates, jars, and more food stuff here. Plastic plates. For the bathroom as well. Also non, not complete. So we just have all the bathroom things laying around. We'll figure all of it out later. This is a shelf. The shelf goes up here. I'm honestly tempted to change our bathing sponges <laughs> just so that it would have like a nice color that fits, but I, I think that's just doing too much. And we have our rug set over here. Yeah, we haven't we haven't put that put that up yet. And in this storage we have towels. I think there's a hand towel here as well. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're working with today. Um, I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> it's a very busy day over here. I'm super excited to finally be here in our own space, even though it's a lot of work setting everything up. But yeah, by Thursday, everything should be set up. And by it, Mark is just making noise in the background. I'm working hard. Anyways, yeah, that's this is the end of my video. My moving empty house tour thingy. You know the vibes. <laughs> do they know the vibes, baby? Girl vibes. Do, do you know the vibes? Yeah, see you guys in my next video.